What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. Now I apologize, I know it's been a while since my last video. Um, I've just been really, really busy with the weather improving day by day in the UK. Um, summer's coming up, there's been a couple of stores that needed completely redesigning and revamping. Um, there's a few new product collections as well that I've been working on with my suppliers, getting ready to introduce. Um, so that's where I've been, um, but now then I am back and I should be back into the rhythm of doing daily uploads. So the topic of this video then is finally how to solve the problem of lots of traffic but zero sales. Quite a common problem that I get asked about a lot. So if you're a beginner then you might not know what a good conversion rate is. So I just wanna show you in the back end of one of my own stores quickly just to kind of give you a rough guideline so the kind of numbers or conversion rate you should expect. So just some background information then, this was March. Um, it is a general store and it is a low ticket item as well. As you can see, the average order value was only 17 pounds. Um, and I've been able to achieve then 4.2%, which to be honest with you, um, I'm pretty happy with. Anything kind of over 3%, 3.5% um, is pretty good for me. But again, it will depend then on how expensive your product is. If you're selling a more expensive product, then obviously you can expect um, a slightly lower conversion rate. Now, before we jump into the solution of this problem, then as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one consultation call with me on this video. All you have to do then to enter the draw, which will be announced tomorrow, is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on my previous video, then just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And that being said then guys, let's get into the solution. So before you move to the next steps of this video, then there's one of two really important questions that you must ask yourself. So don't skip this section. And number one then is how much traffic have you had so far? So as a general rule of thumb, then I recommend somebody drive at least as a bare minimum 1000 visits to your store before you tell yourself you've got a problem. Purely because then Facebook has conversion rates, it's numbers, it's data that you're gathering, so you have to work on the averages. So the more data you have, then the more accurate representation you have, and the better informed decisions you have too. When all these big companies design new products and do market research, they'll go out and ask hundreds of thousands of people because then they have a better and more accurate representation of the market as a whole. Whereas if they only show their product to say one or two people, those one or two people might not like the product, but then everybody else in the market does. So it's about getting as much data as possible so you have a better understanding of the market or of the data and then can make better decisions. Hopefully that makes sense. Any questions at all, then feel free to leave a comment down below. Another important reason then is that Facebook needs time to learn and increase the quality of the traffic. And this is even more important than if you're a beginner with a new ad account, new pixel, is that Facebook is a learning machine. It's constantly learning. Every time somebody clicks on your ad, Every time somebody goes to your store, performs an event, then it's gonna be learning about who your ideal traffic and customer is. So at the beginning, it's not gonna be very good. Therefore, the first, say, 500 people it sends to your store might be quite poor traffic, but then the next 500 will be improved. It'll be better traffic. So if you've only driven, say, two, 300 people to your store, then that isn't enough time for Facebook to gauge the data analyze it and then adjust who it's going to show your ads to so you need to give facebook time to learn and then therefore increase the quality of your traffic so that was question number one then moving on to question number two um, and that is then so if you're driving lots and lots of traffic to your store you need to ask yourself how good is that actual quality of that traffic because if you're driving poor traffic then of course they're not going to buy your product and therefore your conversion rate is going to be really low or if not you're going to have zero sales so avoid low quality traffic countries like India, Pakistan, Russia as well AliExpress is really really big in Russia if you look at pretty much all the best selling products on AliExpress go to the review section and the majority of them will probably be from Russia so I find conversion rates in Russia tend to be quite low. So the best way then to avoid this low quality traffic is simply to choose the products that you want to target. Choose the actual countries that you want to sell your product in don't just choose worldwide because there's a lot more t uh, there's a lot more countries to exclude than there is to include so typically then i would stick to the main four so australia uk us and canada and then if you have the budget and want to scale or simply test these countries as well then go for mainland europe too so france germany denmark i did a previous video a few um a couple of weeks ago on the best countries to target um so make sure you go and check that one out 
So that was the second question. Then you need to make sure you're driving quality traffic and you need to make sure you're driving a significant amount. So the next steps then, if you have over 1000 visits and it's quality traffic as well, then the problem 100% lies on your store. Why? Because your job, the the job, sorry, of your Facebook ad is to get people on your store. So if you're getting traffic, quality traffic to your store and they're not buying, then obviously there's something going wrong on your product page because the job of your product page then is to convert those people. That is where your customers are exiting the buying process and therefore there must be a problem that lies on that product page that's putting them off. So what I'm going to do now then is just go through the product page template that's available to everyone. It's 100% free. The link is down below in the video description. So if you do want this template, make sure you go and check it out. Um, and it's just, I'm just gonna be taking you through then the different features of a product page and how to do them correctly. So starting from the top then, we obviously have our product image here and you wanna make sure then that this product image is high quality, it's not pixelated. It shows exactly what the product is. And if you can then show exactly what the product does as well. So as you can see, there's an LED dog collar and lead combo. You can clearly see both products you can clearly see that it's quite a dark image and the product is lighting up therefore it shows like the benefits and features of the product in one single image you want to make sure there's no Chinese writing on there and you want to make sure there's no other branded logos as well unless it's your own brand or logo of course the idea of the product page then is to own the product and make the product unique and specific to your website and your brand now obviously there's going to be other people selling your product but essentially what you want to do is create the emphasis and idea in a customer's mind that, that product is branded and unique to your company. That way, whenever they think of that product, it's gonna be your brand and name that pops into their head. Which kind of leads me onto the second point then, which is the product title. So do not copy and paste the title across from AliExpress. That is a big no-no. We're not selling on Amazon FBA either, so we don't have to include certain keywords in the title. The idea of this then is to make it unique to our brand and tell people exactly what the product is. So obviously it's an LED dog collar and lead combo, but if this website was called um, dog daily picks, then it could be the dog daily picks LED dog color. That way, if somebody tries to find a product elsewhere and they put into Google the dog daily picks LED dog color because they want the exact same product, then it's only going to be your product that comes up because no one else is going to be calling that LED dog color the dog daily picks color if that makes sense. Moving on to the second point then, try and include how many reviews and what kind of star reviewed the product is as well. Um, it's just great social proof and it will tell people then that there's past order history to this product, there's past social proof and it's a good decent quality product and good decent quality brand and company. Moving down then to the next point is the price, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then the color. So if you're focusing just on the UK, make sure you have the English spelling. If you're going global or worldwide, then use the American spelling. There's an app as well called Color Pop or something like that that allows you to display colors like this and quantities like this, which just makes it easier and quicker for somebody to select the color, select the quantity, and then add to cart. Overall, you want to make it as easy and as quick as possible for somebody to make a purchase on your store, and you need to optimize your store um, for that strategy. Just purely because in today's world, people have so many distractions. Just think on your mobile phone alone, the different games people have. They have WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, Snapchat. There's so many different things that could distract that person from making a purchase that the longer they're on your website, the more chance they have of getting distracted and then exiting the process. So the idea then is to make it as quick and easy as possible for somebody to make a purchase. Moving on then, um, simply make sure you have your product images below the main one. And if there is a size guide, make sure you include that in the images as well. Again, it when people scroll through your images, when they see the size guide, it will make them think, oh, what size would my dog need? Or what size t-shirt does my husband wear? Whatever you're selling. And if you can get people thinking along those kind of lines about what size they would choose if they were buying the product. Again, it just kind of, it helps them convince themselves into actually buying the products because they know they want it, they know what size, all they have to do now is click add to cart. Which leads me on to the next point then, the add to cart button. Make sure it's like a unique color on the page. So if we obviously bar the actual color selection, looking at that page now, 
the big thing that sticks out is the actual image of the product and then the add to cart page. Now, there is actually a psychological reasoning behind this that because it sticks out subconsciously it's going to be in your customer's mind and it will encourage them to click it believe it or not simply changing the color of your add to cart button can completely change what percentage of your visitors will actually add your product to cart now before we move on just going back to the whole price thing because this needs some attention in fact and Obviously, if your product isn't priced correctly, then that's going to cause people to exit the process and not buy it. And therefore, it's going to affect your conversion rate. And there's two ways you can go. So a product can obviously be too expensive and it can also be too cheap as well. So what I tend to do then is price my products quite expensive to begin with. I run ads then for a couple of weeks, see what the conversion rate is. Again, it all comes down to the more data you have then the better averages you have as well then you can reduce your product price by say 10 percent or to the next even amount so from here i might try 20 pound and then again gauge the results for a couple of weeks and just try and find that sweet spot where it's going to make you as much money as possible on the flip side of that then you can actually price a product too cheaply i had a call with somebody who ran a jewelry a jewelry store and their images were really really clean and the pieces of jewelry looked really nice they looked really expensive and that was the vibe he was going for so he was selling these um what are they called wrist bracelets they were selling these bracelets and they were really good quality but he was only selling them for like 10 15 pounds and his conversion rate was really bad because it doesn't add up if the idea when somebody comes onto your store if everything doesn't add up and everything isn't uniform it's going to put people off so if you have a really good high quality product but you're selling it really cheaply then something's going to like smell fishy in their minds and they'll be like hang on a sec something doesn't add up here whereas if they see a really nice quality piece of jewelry but then there's the price to match it as well then it's almost like they feel more comfortable doing it because they would expect to pay more for a higher quality product, if that makes sense. So make sure you experiment with the price. Just make sure you keep note of when you change the product price and what the conversion rate is at that point so you can see then um, where the kind of like sweet spot is. So that being said, in fact, any questions on this, by the way, make sure you leave a comment down below. I always get back to every single person. Uh, moving on to the next part of the product page then, which is the product description and features. So. You want to just keep this kind of simple to the point. As you can see, there doesn't have to be a crazy amount of text. And basically the way it works is you kind of picture, make the customer picture the problem or exactly what it is this product's going to do for them. So as you can see, then the first line is taking your dog for a walk in the dark can be difficult and dangerous. That's not going to be something that they read and disagree with because it is difficult and it is dangerous because obviously they can't see their dog. So they're starting to picture the problem in their mind. And then you're offering the solution. So keep your dog safe and sound from traffic with this LED dog color and lead combination. Double down on your dog's safety. So you're not creating the problem because there is an actual genuine problem for it. But you're just highlighting the problem to the customer and then you're highlighting the solution as well. So the two and two work really well together. Moving on then, you just want to reiterate the features and kind of like the bog standard necessary information that somebody would ask. So they'd obviously want to know that it's made from quality materials. They want to know the different features. So there's three flashing modes. They want to know like whether it's rechargeable, if it is, how long the, the charge will last for. And then something, the pretty cool feature is like how visible it is. Like a thousand feet is quite a significant distance. Um, so that's something that's like a perk of the product. It's just going to encourage them and make them feel safe and sound that they are actually buying a decent quality product that is going to provide a solution to the problem that they're having. Moving on to the final touches of the product page then. So if there is a size guide, make sure you just highlight um, it to the customer. It's in the images to make sure they go up and find it. Therefore, it's going to bring that add to cart button back into play as well on the screen. And then this next paragraph then is a chance to offer something really good and personal to the pro to the customer and build that relationship and rapport and actually speak to them like a human being. So we want you to love your new dog collar. That comes across as that we really care about the customer. If for whatever reason you are unhappy, please contact us for a no questions asked 30 day money back guarantee. So it offers that peace of mind to your customer. Next thing you want to mention the delivery. Now, depending on what the product is, you can quote a lot less than this. Um, if it's just a normal product, so it doesn't plug into the wall or it doesn't contain batteries, then I usually put ePacket Express Tracks because ePacket is an Express International Shipping Service. It is tracked. So again, another 
benefit to ordering with us is the fact that it is a tracked parcel and I would put in here one to three weeks um, and then if it is a product like this that has a battery in it, it sometimes can take longer to process through customs, therefore I'd put say two to three weeks. And then finally, you want to offer just like some trust badges, so 30 money back guarantee, just reiterate that. Iterate the fact that it's a guaranteed safe checkout, another thing that's going to just give your customer that added peace of mind. And then I like to reiterate the delivery service just again, just to make sure that our customers are fully aware of what we're offering. In the long run then, it's just going to lead to less questions from your customers, less customer service, emails and messages, and less angry customers as well. If you reiterate it twice on your product page, then the chances are 100% of your customers will understand the delivery process and therefore it's just going to lead to those things I just mentioned. Finally then, finish off with your reviews app. So it can be Shopify product reviews, it can be Lux reviews. In fact, I use Lux on all of my stores now just because of how cleanly and nice it integrates into your store. Um, again, reviews are an absolute must just for social proof and giving your customer that added peace of mind. A quick note then, make sure these guarantees and trust badges are in keeping with the theme of your store. So if you're selling really expensive products and you've got a really clean kind of dark sophisticated site, then obviously you don't want big bright orange and green trust badges. You want ones that are maybe black and white that integrate better with your store. The idea is just to kind of give your product page a theme and a feeling to your customer that matches the products you're selling so obviously dog products are quite like dogs as a subject is quite a happy and casual subject therefore as you can see the product page kind of encompasses that and integrates that feeling and theme into the page it's big bold um, and brightly colored and that being said then guys that pretty much finishes up the product page um hopefully you guys have learned something new if you have then i appreciate it. let me know down below in the comment section what stuck out or what stood out to you in this video and of course if you did enjoy it please do leave a like and if you want to be entered into the one-to-one -one draw um, make sure you subscribe so you can tune into tomorrow's video to see if you won and also then make sure you leave a comment down below and that being said then let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video here we are then guys on the previous video make 100k in the six months so this was quite a cool video in fact there's a lot of information in this so if you're still stuck on kind of what products what um, niche to go into make sure you go and check this one out so anyway, I'm just going to take the URL, as you can see, top right, head over to the random comment picker, uh, stick it in this box, get YouTube comments, 67 unique comments, which is absolutely awesome. So thank you very much for all the recent support. It's crazy to think that we're going to be at 5,000 subs very, very soon. So the winner then is Dylan Buckle. There are a couple of logo generators online. Um, so thank you very much, in fact, Dylan, for offering some value in the comment section. Um, make sure you hit me up on Instagram, then we can get that call arranged. And for anybody who didn't win then and you just want to get down to business, book a call straight away with me. Um, and get your questions answered you can do so there is a link down below in the video description so make sure you go and check that one out and that being said then guys thank you for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one